Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. What I have for you guys today is another Natural Thursdays makeup look. And like I mentioned in my previous video, I am going to be using a pigment today. We will be using one eyeshadow, one pigment, and go through the process of how we apply a loose pigment to the eyes and not really you know, go too overboard, but really just get the gist of it. So if that sounds like something you want to watch, consider subscribing. Don't forget to activate the bell and let's just go ahead and jump right in. I am going in with the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe. This is one of my favorite palettes. I have a lot of videos using this palette, I want to say, and I think the warm tone shades from this palette are really beginner friendly because there's a lot of light, medium, and dark brown, so it really helps you build up intensity. Off, I am going to go in with this Morphe M573 brush. Now I am going to go into this like ready orange shade just because we're gonna be adding a pigment today and I really want it to pop and it's really gonna pop if we have a little bit of a darker color. So just picking up that color, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp out the shade that I want and then just really blend this out and this will be the only color that we're gonna to use today. Now I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of the same shade and really place it in that socket really feel for your socket. And then once we're gonna go ahead and blend out the edges, I keep a little towel on my desk and I'll just rub off any remaining any remaining product that I have on my brush. That way it looks a little bit clean again. That way when I go to diffuse these edges, I'm not really adding more color again. I'm just going to diffuse with the little bit of color that I still have on the brush. We really just want a light wash of color and I want to say this type of tone is very appropriate for an everyday makeup. It's not too dark, it's not too bold, but it's definitely giving us a little bit of definition in our eye. Okay, now moving on to the pigment. I'm going to go ahead and take the NYX pigment in the color Vegas Baby. This is a very pretty gold white type of shade, and I will be going in with the NYX Glitter Primer. I've used this for many, many years already. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit on the back of our hand, and that's what that looks like. What I like to do with pigments is some pigments will have a little cap. I took my sifter off if that's what it's called and I just go ahead and dump a little bit onto the cap. I always like to work within the cap because sometimes you dip your brush into the container and it can fly all over the place so I like to pour a little bit in what is the cap of the item or the product I mean. Now brushes are up to you. I personally like to use a little bit of fluffy brushes and that's just because when I go in with a very flat brush like this, this is going to apply the glitter primer very, very precise. I would probably use this more if I was going to do a glitter liner and I wanted a very specific spot for this video, I, I'm going to go ahead and use some of the brushes that I always use throughout my videos. And it's a brush something like this. And it looks a little big. It's tapered. It's a little fluffy. I do have two of these brushes, so I will be using one for the pigment and one for the glitter glue. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab a little bit of glue. I'm really going to work it into my brush. And yes, your brush might get a little bit stiff after this, but if you have a makeup wipe nearby, I usually just wipe it off right away. That way it doesn't get hard and stiff in my makeup organizer here. So now that I've had that, I'm going to go ahead and really tap on the center. And I'm not going to leave my brush there. I'm just going to little take little tapping motions because I want the majority of the product to be in the center of my eye. So I'm just going up and down and a little bit on the side. Now I'm going to take my clean brush and I'm going to dip into the pigment. And I'm really going to go ahead and tap off the excess. That way the excess doesn't just stick elsewhere on my face. And I'm going to go ahead and tap it on. I'm not going to press it and hold really. I just want light tapping motions. See how I'm kind of just picking it up, placing it down. 
And it's going to adhere to the primer immediately, especially because we really worked it in there. I feel that when I use a fluffy brush, I get more of a of a nice pop versus a more constructed pigment application. And obviously here for Natural Thursdays, we want to keep it simple, but we want to be able to use different products throughout our makeup application. Same thing. And I'm going to go right over the top because it's just really going to intensify this pigment. And that's all I'm doing is light tapping motions. And as I get to the outer corners of where I have a little bit of glue, I'm just going to take whatever is the excess and just kind of sweep it right here. Same thing over here. And that's pretty much going to be it. If you want to intensify it a little bit more, you can go back in with the same exact products, add a little bit of glue, add a little bit of shimmer. And if you work in smaller sections, I think it'll be a little bit easier. I am dipping back into the same shade with the same brush, Morphe M573. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just really going to tap on the edges. That way this eyeshadow overlaps a little bit with this pigment. And I would say maybe this is a very simple way of doing somewhat of a halo eye. It's definitely not a very structured halo eye, but we will eventually get there. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and tap on that same shade and overlap the pigment just a little bit. That way the spotlight is really in the center of our eye. So I'm going to take a little bit of the glitter primer and I'm going to apply it right here. And I'm using a brush like this, a little pointy, a little bullet like a pencil brush will really do the trick. So just really dot that right in the inner corner. This is a Morphe M506. It's one of my favorite brushes, one of my most used brushes. But in today's video, I will be using it to pick up a little bit of the pigment just because this is a pointed small brush. It's like a pencil brush with a little bit of a point. We're taking off any excess, letting it go to the cap, and then we're gently going to press it here just to give us a little bit of a sparkle here. To finish off this makeup, I am going to go in with the LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liner. This is in the color Sugar and Spice. Just to top the lips, I am going in with this Pixie in collaboration with Chloe in the color Parfait. Okay guys, well this is the final look. I really hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I really hope it helped you if you had any doubts about pigments or the application. Like I said, we will be building on all of these makeup looks little by little, whether that's adding another eyeshadow next time or maybe a liquid shadow next time. Other things that we can work on with these makeup videos and just really get the practice to build to more elaborate makeup tutorials here. So I really hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.